God bless the Prince of God over here. This moment, it's a Sunday, beautiful Sunday, fun day, Sunday in New York City. Uh, I want to take this opportunity pretty much just to reach out to uh, everyone out there that lives in the city where the most that we see all around are homeless. People that do not have a home. Right now, I've, I've seen a lot of homeless people and uh, I'm gonna approach one of them and I'm gonna ask them what brought them to, to that state. And let's see what they share with us. But the most important thing is not me helping out with money or food. The most important thing is me helping out with their spiritual life, letting them know that God, that Jesus loves them, letting them know that there's salvation for them, letting them know that, that Jesus has plans to prosper them and bless them in every aspect of their lives. And um, I ask the Holy Spirit to, to be my guide, to come with me, and let's reach out one, just one, for Christ. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so right, right here I'm uh, with a friend of mine. Um, sorry, what's your name again? Tom. Tom, this is Tom over here. Um, and Tom, you know, I just want to say that um, first thing and foremost is that Jesus loves you. And uh, I don't know if you have heard people approach you in the past and tell you this. Yes. It happens a lot on the street. It happens a lot. Amen. Well, you know, I see you have a dog there. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of pet lovers. Yeah. A lot of pet lovers out there. And when they see, you know, the pet, they may be compassionate and say, wow, you know, um, uh, I, I, I want to help out. Yeah. I want to be able to do something for him. Um, the most important thing is I want to know if you're hungry. Um, I just, I got a little bit to eat right here. I'm doing pretty good, you know. I'm That's good. good. That's good. All right, and then the dog too, he, he's okay? Yeah, she's doing. She's What's doing this good. a sheep? Yeah, sheep. What's yeah. her name? Sadie. Sadie? Yeah. Sadie. Sadie. Yeah. All right. Tom, I want to know what brought you to this state. Uh, how do you ended up here? Did you always, uh, were you always in the streets or did you have a home? Tell me a little bit. Well, basically, like, I, uh, I never had a lot. I grew up pretty much poor. Um, but up until a couple years ago, my, uh, my parents both passed within a very short time span of time. And uh, my dad passed away, and then my mom passed away, and I wasn't in a um, wasn't in a financial place to take care of myself. Uh, I, I never really. I was young at the time. I was only 20 years old, and um, I did not. I did not have the means to do anything. I didn't have any family to fall back on. Uh, I'd waste a lot of my teen years being stupid, being real stupid, and reality just kind of smacked me one day and uh, I there was nothing I could do about it and I've been haven't been able to get myself back on my feet since then and uh, I've been trying every day but once you're in this situation it's like being in quicksand it's, uh, you can, it, to, to, to drag yourself out of it you literally you literally need a miracle I want to ask you uh, pretty much now just um, to do a prayer with me where it's just simply a prayer of asking the Lord to provide for you. You know, we serve a God that provides and He loves you and He's here for you, but at the same time, He expects us to do something in return. And what He expects is only for us to live a life of obedience. It doesn't matter how much um, material things you have in life. It doesn't matter how much you may possess. But the most important thing is for you to understand that Everything that you do, no matter whether you have a lot or you don't, that you are living a life of obedience. You understand? Yeah. So I'm gonna do a quick prayer for you, all right? Sure. All right, Heavenly Father, in this hour, I present to you Tom, God. Lord, I do not know the reason why he's here, God. I do not know what he's going through right now, but you do, God. There's a lot of things, God, that he's going through right now. 
I want you, Lord, to take uh, uh, control of his mind and his heart, God. I want you, Lord, to minister to him, God, in a special way that he can know that you're here with him, God. That no matter where he is or who he's with, God, that you are the most important thing in his life, God. That you are the center of his life. I ask you, Lord, to put a heart of obedience in his, in his life. I ask you, Lord, that, that he may become a servant of yours, Lord, the same way that I am a servant of yours, God. The same way that re you reach out to anybody in the world to provide for them, that you also may do the same thing with him, Lord. And look at this dog, Lord. I want you, Lord, to be able to also provide for it, God. That any need, Lord, in any way or form, Lord, that you may even give him a home, Lord. I believe in the name of Jesus, and I declare that he will be restored, Lord. And that most importantly, Lord, he will be saved for you, Lord, for your kingdom. Tom, I'm going to ask you real quickly just to do a quick prayer with me. Only if you agree, you will say this, all right? You say, Dear God. God. I accept you as my personal savior. I accept you as my personal and savior. And I ask you to come into my life. And I ask you to come into my life. And be my Lord. And be my Lord. I ask you Jesus. I ask you Jesus. To put to write my name in the book of life. To write my name in the book of life. And don't let it ever be erased. And don't let it ever be erased. In the, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 All right. So uh, this is as far as I'm gonna film. Um, uh, as, as as far as the rest, I'm just gonna uh, cut it off just because I want to have a one-on-one -on -one with him. I hope you guys uh, are moved to, you know, reach out to others because remember, Tom is my brother. Tom could be your brother. You know, it doesn't matter who the uh, the person that that, that you run into. Uh, it could be a stranger to you. It doesn't matter. This could be me in the future because of bad decisions that I make in life because of things that I may not be able to handle right or maybe because I'm a victim of something. This could be me in the future. And it would be great if Jesus would send somebody to come to me and give me a helping hand. God bless. All around are homeless. People that do not have a home. People that for one reason or another find themselves alone with no one to help. Of course, the government in the state of New York offers assistance to those people in need, yet a lot of them have mental issues, a lot of them have personal, emotional issues. For whatever reasons, they choose not to attend to these shelters. But here in the city of New York, we find a lot of people that are just in the streets, homeless, just asking for help, asking for assistance, asking for someone to, to have mercy and, and lend them a hand. Yes, a lot of them stand out with a sign asking for money. And it is easy for us to judge and it's easy for us to assume that they are just taking advantage of us and that they are just asking for money for their personal pleasures, whether it's for addictions such as alcohol or drugs. But at the end of the day, we cannot ignore the fact that they also have needs such as keeping uh, the hygiene, maintaining themselves clean, and also they get hungry. You know, it is very, very difficult for us as human beings to relate to them because we've never been in their positions. We've never maybe even come close to, to being in, in a situation like that. But I'm sure that they all have a reason as to why they ended that way. I'm sure that they did not intend for this to happen. Something got them there. A lot of people, a lot of females, for example, a lot of them were abused at a home, whether it was in a family or marriage and they ended up that way. A lot of men, young men, end up falling into addictions. They can't get a job or they get out of jail or they can't you know, uh, hold it down and they end up in the streets. You know, people in general just tend to look after themselves. It's not normal for people to uh, go out and help others unless it's a family member but I want to talk to you guys about being a Christian I want to talk to you guys about um, understanding what the gospel is about the gospel is about denying yourself 
and let yourself be used by God and by the Holy Spirit. Letting the Spirit of God guide you and take you to places and doing things that He wants you to do. Not necessarily things that you want to do. It's important for us to hear that voice of God. If we really have a relationship with Him, if we really read His Word, we should be able to understand. Those of you that go to church, those of you that, that believe in God, understand that God wants us to be His servants. He wants us not just to look after ourselves and not just to uh, provide for our family members, but also all those people out there that we don't not know, that we may not even have a relationship with. Just approach them and, and let them know that Jesus loves them. And you may say, well, I don't have the courage. I don't have the guts. Or I may not have the ability to approach any of these strangers. Who knows what disease they may have? Who knows what anger they may have? Who knows if they may attack me? Well, first of all, if you have Christ in you, you shouldn't be afraid of anything. If you have the love of God in you, then you, you will have mercy. And the love of God will get you there. So, when we look in the Bible, there's a parable about a rich man who ran into a homeless man called Lazarus. And Lazarus asked him for help, for food, for money. And the rich man just ignored him and didn't do anything to try to help out. Well, I want you to know that at the end of this parable, at the end of the story, we see that both of them die and the rich man ends up going to hell. He ends up in a place of torment. This is biblical. If you don't do the will of God, you're not going to heaven. You may have everything in this world, but what good is it to have other possessions in the world when you don't have the desire to serve the Lord? and you don't obey him. So the rich man ends up going to hell. But Lazarus, the one that did not have anything here on earth, ended up going to heaven. Because, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of these people are sorry for what they did. A lot of these people repent. A lot of these people call upon God. And they also have a heart. They have feelings just like your brother, just like your mom, just like your dad, just like your sister. They have a heart. And it is our responsibility to reach out to them. The Bible also says that it's easy for you to love those that love you. The hard part is loving those that don't love you, those that you don't know. Right now, I've, I've seen a lot of homeless people, and, uh, and let's see what they share with us. But the most important thing is not me helping out with money or food. The most important thing is me helping out with their spiritual life, letting them know that, God, that Jesus loves them, letting them know that there's salvation for them, letting them know that, that Jesus has plans to prosper them and bless them in every aspect of their lives. And um, I ask the Holy Spirit to, to be my guide, to come with me. And let's reach out one, just one, for Christ.